Hi, I'm Andrea Brubaker. This is day five of our Stations of the Cross video devotional. If you missed yesterday or want to watch all six videos in one place, you can find them on Facebook, YouTube, or on our website at www.melissaumc.com slash worship dash on demand. The passage today is John 18 verses 19 through 27. Meanwhile, the chief priests questioned Jesus about his disciples and his teaching. Jesus answered, I've spoken openly to the world. I've always taught in synagogues and in the temple where all the Jews gather. I've said nothing in private. Why ask me? Ask those who heard what I told them. They know what I said. After Jesus spoke, one of the guards standing there slapped Jesus in the face. Is that how you would answer the high priest, he asked? Jesus replied, if I speak wrongly, testify about what was wrong. But if I speak correctly, why do you strike me? Then Anna sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. Meanwhile, Simon Peter was still standing with the guards, warming himself. They asked, aren't you one of his disciples? Peter denied it, saying, I'm not. A servant of the high priest, a relative of the one whose ear Peter had cut off, said to him, didn't I see you in the garden with him? Peter denied it again, and immediately a rooster crowed. You've heard the rooster crow in the morning. The loud signal reminds us that a new day is dawning, a fresh start to the day God has given. For Peter, I'm sure he was glad that night was over. Three times he denied Jesus, his friend, and the Messiah, the Son of God. And when the rooster crows, Peter may have thought, Jesus was right, my Lord, what have I done? Peter is different as the new day is dawning. No longer fighting the acknowledgement that he has traveled with Jesus, he warms himself by the fire and is forced to settle with what he has done. Who will he be after this moment? How will he choose to live this day differently that he has the night before? In our first two sessions, you wrote down names of people or communities that you may be called to serve and names of people whom you profoundly love. I'm going to ask you to do something shocking. Crumple up those papers and throw them away. Imagine for a moment what it might feel like to turn away from those opportunities to be God's love in the world. Then ask yourself the question, who will you be today? How will you choose to live today with the faithfulness that turns towards the places where Jesus is most needed? Holy God, as we journey through this familiar story, help us to understand it anew. Show us, O oh God, where we find ourselves in the story and move us toward a more just and compassionate future. Amen.